Hello, my name is Andrew Fabiano. I'm a neurosurgeon and a professor of oncology at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. We're one of the few centers in the country that has a dedicated spinal oncology program. One of the most important factors for the survival rates for a primary spinal column tumor is the initial surgical resection. That's going to provide them with protection of their spinal cord and the potential to reverse neurologic deficits that have, that have occurred. The survival rate for spinal tumors varies greatly. There's some tumors that we can cure with a surgical resection. There are other tumors that are more challenging to treat and may require uh, multiple treatments, including surgery, radiation therapy, or chemotherapy. In some instances, multiple surgeries. Not only because the cancer needs to be treated, but also because the tumor itself can push on the spinal cord and cause a patient to have weakness. If a patient's mobility or ability to walk is affected, that's going to impact all aspects of their life, including their ability to get additional treatments such as radiation or chemotherapy that might be required for their tumor. Certain spinal column tumors such as chordomas and chondrosarcomas we know don't respond well to chemotherapy and radiation. The best treatment for these type of tumors is surgical resection when possible. Physical therapy and occupational therapy are going to see every patient who comes in and undergoes a neurosurgical procedure. They're critical to helping those patients recover from their surgery and get better so that they can not only return to their life, but also be well enough to receive any additional treatments that may be required. If you have a new spinal tumor, what's best before you make a treatment decision is that you speak with experts, determine all of your treatment options, and then together with the physicians you trust, uh, move forward with what you believe to be the best treatment plan.